Hello, I'm Stuart Edmondson, Head of Engineering Operations on the Bloodhound Programme. I'm going to spend a couple of minutes just talking about um, where we are at the moment and what we're up to. Um, as you can see, uh, we're in front of our hardened aircraft shelter. Um, these were built during the Cold War um, to protect um, Royal Air Force's aircraft, but now it's ideally suited for what we're doing at Newquay Airport. Um, this is where we do all of our engineering, all of our pre-use checks, post-run checks, and I'm just going to give you a brief outline inside. Okay, as you can see, um, the central feature is Bloodhound, the car itself, um, with suitable lighting all around. And you'll notice around the car, we've got various bays that provide the necessary support from in the far corner, the mechanical side, and then on the right-hand side, the systems team are based. If we come on in closer, we then also position some of the critical equipment out to the side. So you can see on the left-hand side here, um, the canopy, and that's all ready to go. So when we've done our pre-run checks, obviously these items are the last things that get fitted to the car before we roll the car out of the HAS. So here the final preparations um, of the cockpit, some slight adjustments, we're installing cameras so we can capture the action. Um, and that's being done now, late, uh, ready for our runs later today. It's a competition to see how many engineers you can get in the cockpit at once. Yes. <laughs> As you can see here, one of our bays is a, a fabrication shop and we've tried to replicate all of the facilities we had back in Avermouth near Bristol. So we've got the ability to make adjustments, minor repairs and so on. So on this side of the Harden Aircraft Shelter, we've got all our systems team, they're based here, with the ability to plug into the um, car, update data, make software changes, and also all of the cable looms can be made and manufactured here on the spot if we need to make any adjustments. And finally, we've got our ground support equipment, which is crucial, obviously, for preparation of the car, including the ability to refuel it and also our air start unit, which is vital for starting the EJ200. We also have our cooling rig that is here to support us in cooling down the car post runs. OK, that gives you a brief summary of what the activities go on inside the hardened aircraft shelter, which is vital engineering checks prior and post all of our runs. But the second important aspect of our location is the fact we're only a few hundred metres away from the airfield where we conduct our dynamic testing. And in fact, we're due to do some of that this afternoon.